everybody and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve number 24 of the AMC 8 2018. So the problem is a geometry type and it involves a cube. So let me just draw a cube in. And this cube has a cross section that goes inside the square and it touches the two midpoints on the sides of the cube. So this is what the cross section looks like. And remember that the cross section is inside of the cube. So imagine taking a slice through the cube and looking at the face of the cube that you just sliced. And this is what the cross section is. And to make this better, easier to see, I'm just going to color in the cross section. Alright, so now that we've found our cross-section and kind of clarified everything else, what does the problem ask us to do? Well, the problem asks us to find the area of the cross-section, the ratio of the area of the cross-section to the area of one side of the cube squared. So, again, it asks for us to find the ratio of the area of the cross-section to the area of one side of the cube squared. So, first, let's try to find the area of the cross section. And for now, let's just call one side of the square S to make things easier and more clarifiable. So one side of the square is S. But the problem is we don't know if what the cross section is. But the, we do know one thing. If you haven't noticed already, the cross section is a rhombus. A rhombus is a shape where all its sides are the same. But this doesn't necessarily mean the rhombus is a square. Rhombuses can be looking somewhat like this. <clears throat> Let me just fix this. And so, if we have a rhombus like this, how do we solve for its area? Well, assume this is the height, whoops, assume this is the base, and this is the height. We can find the area by multiplying the base times height, but that's not we, what we can do. We can't really find the height because it's almost impossible to do this when the cross section is kind of bent and all around, and that's just going to take too much time. So, there's a different formula for doing this. Say we have a rhombus again, and there's two diagonals. Let's just call this diagonal of length A and this diagonal of length B. Then therefore, the area of the rhombus is just AB over 2. So let's try to use this formula. So what I'm going to do is draw in two diagonals on our cross section. The first one, let's just do a dark blue cross section that runs through. And another one is just going to be pink. Alright, so now that we have our cross sections, we have to find the length of each of them. So, let's just find the length of the blue cross section, because that's easier to do. So the dark blue cross section is actually just the square square root 2 s because if you you can see sort of a right triangle and right here so let me just draw it in a right triangle like this and it has the blue line as its hypotenuse so since both sides are s right here then therefore the hypotenuse is s square root 2 and that's the length of our blue side so Let's just delete all this. So the first side is s root 2. Now I'm going to erase some other things, so let's put this in dark blue to represent the dark blue diagonal. So now we have to find the length of the pink diagonal. But it's kind of hard to imagine the pink diagonal, so let me go down and draw a better diagram that's tilted at an angle so that we can see the pink diagonal better.
Actually, let me draw a much, much, much better one than this. Alright, so now I drew in our cube that's tilted at an angle, and this is our pink diagonal right here. So we have to find the length of it. But if you notice, there's a right triangle hidden in this image. If you draw a diagonal from here to here, you can see that there is a right triangle right here. So we can finally solve for the length of the pink one, which is if we take this right triangle right here out, we'll have one length that's longer. That length is s squared 2. The other length is s, and therefore the length of the hypotenuse is s square root 3. Okay, so since the pink length is our the pink length is one of the diagonals, then our other diagonal must be whoops must be s root 3. All right, so that was pretty simple. Now all we have to do is combine our two diagonals to find the area of our rhombus or slash cross section so multiplying our two our two diagonal lengths we get s squared root six but we still have to divide by two so we do that too and now we have to find since this is our area but we're not done yet of the cross section now we have to find the ratio of it to one side of our cube so all we have to do is times this by 1 over s squared, and we get that the ratio is square root 6 over 2. But again, we're not done exactly yet, because we still, the problem asks for us to square this ratio. So squaring this ratio, we have 6 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 2. And 3 over 2 is our answer. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I have other videos that are about AMC 8 2018, so be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching.